project is a little bit like this watch. This watch is a Swiss Army watch that I found in 30 feet of water at the bottom of Lake Champlain in Vermont. Um, while I was in Vermont, I also found some 30-year-old tapes of material that I had recorded in London with an English musician by the name of James Litherland. The Anglophiles among you will probably know him from the English jazz rock band Coliseum. They were one of the pioneering English jazz rock bands. I also got to play with Taj Mahal, Mick Taylor of The Stones, Chris Wood of Traffic, Mitch Mitchell of Jimi Hendrix ex Experience. Um, I was very fortunate uh, when I was growing up in London to meet and befriend a bunch of these musicians and get to play with them. Anyway, so Jim and I went into the studio this one time and we recorded eight songs with two acoustic guitars, two voices, live. Jim and I really pushed the envelope of what was being done with acoustic guitars back then. We were playing a mixture of jazz, funk, blues, reggae, and soul music using just acoustic guitars, which was very unusual. It still is unusual. And as I was listening to them and in the process of digitizing them, I realized that these songs would really come alive and start to pop if I could add a band to it, bass, drums, possibly some saxophone. That's one thing that makes this project different. It's very rare to take 30-year-old tapes of two acoustic guitars and two voices and add a band to it and have something come out that sounds like a live band in the studio. And these are all musicians that have played with some of the best in the world, from Ray Charles to Ricky Lee Jones, Crosby Stills, Nash and Young, Chris Fraser, who's currently the drummer in Foreigner. And Chris was kind enough to put drums on two of them. So here I have these two tracks um, that now have bass and drums and percussion on them, and I realize they're really going to sound great. You can hear excerpts of these songs in their raw acoustic state and the two that I've already begun work on and have added bass and drums to on this website. Just go to mickleymusic.com and click on the music tab and you'll be able to get a sense of what this project is really all about because it's really all about the music. Another thing that makes this project unique is that this is going to be a limited edition CD. Only those folks who helped me to fund it uh, through Indiegogo here or any other source um, will get a copy of this CD. So the last thing I want to tell you about are the rewards uh, for helping to fund the project and the details are on the webpage. Take this music that was revolutionary in its time and still is in many ways and make it fresh, make it now, make it sound like a, a full band in the studio um, is a labor of love, truly a dream come true. And uh, I thank those of you who decide to support the project. Uh, I'm deeply grateful. Thank you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on a flip side. Time I got inside, I'm listening to jazz. Now since I've had that record, start drinking supermarket wine.